Today, let's break down the must-use Town Hall 12 attack strategy, the Zap Witches, and how you can earn more 3 stars with them, and let's do them live. What's going on, my friends? My name's Corrupt, and today we are going to be breaking down and using live in multiplayer Zap Witches. Now, what are the things that you're looking for? Well, there's a couple easy things to identify. First and foremost, are there multi-target infernos? If there is, you can use the lightning spells to get rid of two of them. Usually, though, what you're doing with this is you're looking to create pathing. So if they're, even if they're single target infernos, you should still be able to use the lightning spells to get rid of them and be able to create at least some sort of pathing for your witches. Then you want to try and use either your wall wrecker or log launcher to go directly across. And you want to get rid of stuff like the third inferno tower if it's set to multi, the ego artillery, and the giga tesla. Those are things that you really want to get rid of if you're doing this attack strategy. That's really everything that you would need to really understand about witches. They're very, very easy and they don't take too long to sort of understand. So what you want to start by doing is using the zap quake. Notice how you're using the zap quake and trying to hit other defenses, not just the inferno. That way what you're able to do is get rid of defenses that could be out of range of the witches and could cause some problems so here in this case we get rid of some of these back defenses here and also getting rid of that multi-target inferno then we're going to create the funnel on either side by using three witches with a couple super giants this is enough to kind of really help and keep up some support that way we can then use the rest of our super giants to go directly into the core of the base which is something that you should exactly be doing now, you want to be able to preserve as much health from the Log Launcher. So, you want to use the Warden Eternal Tome in order to protect it from something like the Multi-Inferno Beam. The benefits of using the Log Launcher is that any of the small troops, even Headhunters, that get in its way will get completely thrown off the map like a spring trap. So, just think about that. So, anything, any small ground units like Headhunters are not going to be a big threat at all. And notice how the log launcher gets us all the way across the base and allows you to get rid of multiple structures and damaging them along the way like the town hall, making it easier for you to get rid of it. Those are just things that you really want to try and really heavily consider, but take a look at all the witches that we have in the core. Very, very simple. Unfortunately though, if you look on the left and the right, we don't really have too many witches, and that should be expected. You want to have a majority in the core. That way, a lot of the defenses that target onto other units are locked on and distracted by the skeletons. It makes it easier for you to get through, and that's why witches are incredibly powerful. Since there's a limit in terms of the splash buildings, you're able to still move through quite easily, even using the Warden Eternal Tome in order to get through more structures. That's exactly what you should be doing for most of these attacks. Now, let's go ahead and go ahead and start. Well, actually, before we do that, you guys can see how this attack kind of wraps up here. So many skeletons, like, it's like a wave of skeletons, it's a skeleton parade. But we're going to be going ahead and jumping into our live attacks. So let's go ahead and take a look at what our first live attack is going to bring. All right, guys, we're going to be hitting this first base design here. Now, I understand that this base is not entirely maxed, but it does have some fairly maxed out defenses like the Eagle Artillery. So we do want to try and take advantage of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Inferno Tower here. Three, four with one earthquake to sort of damage other structures and then i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the one in the core and then we'll use one earthquake to get rid of that so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop in a golem here with three witches and i'm gonna drop a baby dragon to create the funnel i'm gonna drop in a golem over here with three witches and then I'm going to go ahead and drop in an Ice Golem on either side with the Wall Wrecker, the King, Queen, Warden, and the rest of the Witches. And I want them to be able to push into that Inferno Tower compartment. Unfortunately, I think I should have placed it a little bit more offset, but we'll see. Uh, could we get through that compartment? 
don't know. I'm going to use the Warden Eternal Tome to kind of get through there. The Town Hall isn't a big issue, partly because since, you know, the Town Hall is only level 2. So we don't need to worry about it too much. But we do need to worry about this Inferno Tower. I do want this Queen to go in to go get it. It looks like she will. Alright, that's good. Pop the Queen ability here. We still got Witches on the left here. None on the right, unfortunately. Or none on the left, unfortunately. Most on the right. There's a couple minions over there. So from the looks of it, we don't have a lot of witches left up in this base at the moment. So we use our king ability here. We're going to be able to continue to drive through. Uh, let's see. Is this going to be enough or did we end up failing this? We still have golems. We still have the queen up. We have a P.E.K.K.A. up as well. I'm going to use that there just in case there are any skeleton traps. This is uh, going to be fairly close. I don't know. Let's see. We've got the... We don't have... We have an archer, so I think we can probably clean up at least something. Queen's going to be able to step up and get rid of the town hall. All right. That's... That's fine. The... Let's see. Come on, queen. Come on. Ooh. Very, very close. So now we just have these leftover defenses here. We don't have much. All of our witches died out. So unfortunately here, I think we're going to get a fail. I think what I should have done is place the wall wrecker slightly more offset. But again, remember, you know, I'm not a maxed out Town Hall 12. I only have 265 camp space, so this is still fairly difficult. Unfortunately, a 91% two-star for the start. It's not bad, decent loot, but I think we could have fixed something up, and I think it was the wall wrecker instead of anything else. So let's move on into the next live attack. Alright guys, we are going to be hitting this base design next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an Ice Golem here. And 1, 2, 3, 4 Witches. Same thing over on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to drop in Golem here, Golem here. I'm going to drop in the rest of my Witches. My King, Queen, Warden, and the Wall Wrecker. And let's see, I'm going to be able to make sure that we are keeping everything alive. Now, I haven't used the lightning spells because we're going to use them to support the witches here against the single target infernos. So for those of you who are wondering, yes, you can use this versus singles. It's very easy, but it does take that time to sort of see what you want to get rid of along with those singles. So for me... It's getting rid of more than that. It's just creating pathing. So that's exactly what I did here. So I'm going to use the king ability, kind of get through some of these buildings. We are easily moving through. I know you had a couple wizard towers upgrading, but this base was roughly what my base is right now. Maybe a little bit stronger. So that just kind of gives you guys a really good idea of what you're kind of doing with this. And the reason that I'm kind of bringing in the baby dragon to continue supporting that's really everything there. So there you go. There is a really nice triple. We're going to reset the army. But there we go. We have a lot of witches on the left and on the right side. Well, we have only have one over here, unfortunately. But we do have a ton of witches over here on the right side. And that is looking quite good. Yeah, there you go. We'll pop my queen ability here to get through the wall. And that should be it there for this one. So that really just goes to show, again, it's pretty simple, and going up against singles is probably the easiest thing that you will ever do. Now for me, what I fixed up in this attack is I used the Ice Golems on the left and the right to start the funnel, and I used four Witches instead of using three. The Ice Golem will just provide more support because of the Death Freeze. So there we go, there's 100%. Let's do one final attack to wrap up the challenge. Alright guys, we are going to be hitting this one for the final, final live attack. So let's go ahead and zap away the multi-target infernos. Two, three, four. With an earthquake right here. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four. Should be able to get rid of the air defense. I should have done that with the other one. Alright, so now... I'm going to use an Ice Golem here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put too much there. Ice Golem, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to drop in a Golem on either side. 
We're going to sprinkle in these witches here, drop in the wall wrecker, king, queen, and the warden. We're going to use a baby dragon here. And uh, we'll have a wizard over here with them. All right. As we continue to move through, hopefully the king and queen move in. Got some witches also kind of moving in as well. And let's see if we can get to this town hall. Alright, this is looking fairly good. I'm going to use the poison to slow down the queen. We should be able to get to the town hall with the wall wrecker. I do have the use of the warden eternal tome. And I think I will go ahead and pop it right here. That way we can get to the town hall with ease. We should be able to get rid of the town hall. Again, let's see. Do we get down? We do. And we still have witches over here on the left. There's an archer right there. We still have a golem on the outside, a golem and ice golem on the inside of the base. It's looking fairly good. I think uh, I think we will be able to get through this. Unfortunately, we do lose our warden, but we do have the queen ability still. So that's still something that we have. Pop the queen ability there. Uh, do we have any more witches? We do have one witch. But unfortunately, we have so many archer towers still left up. I am a little bit worried here, unfortunately. Um, we do have a... No, we lose the P.E.K.K.A. right there. Queen goes down. Yeah, all we have is a Golem. So, unfortunately, this is probably going to be another fail. Partly because we still don't have that full camp space. But, nice try nonetheless still. We are able to get some decent loot. Let's see, though, if this one witch can finish it up. I don't know if she can, but it would be very, very interesting. But with only 36 seconds, I don't think so. Golemites are going to fall. So that's quite unfortunate here. But I think if we could do something better, it was probably maybe putting too many witches on the outside and maybe not even having good pathing there. But again, once we have the 280 camp space, it's just going to be far easier. It's going to be a time fail here from the looks of it. Yeah. From the looks of it, unfortunately, not enough to push through. So, it's going to be a high percentage too, but that is going to be it. Yeah, that sucks. But, do you know what? We got some decent loot. What can you say? And there we go. We finish off the challenge. So, even though these were not the best live attacks that you guys can take a look at, these were still really good. Again, remember, I only have this one army camp maxed out. So... Again, I just have to play with what I can. So we had two tough time fails, but hopefully the other attacks from the replays will still help. Let's go, go ahead and take a look at one last replay before we end off the video. Last but not least, we have this example here using the log launcher still. I think the log launcher is great. And you guys saw the use of the wall wrecker in the live attacks, but using the three golems and one ice golem is still a very viable option if you don't want to boost up the super giants remember that if you are going to be using witches you want to try and look at a base design like this so where you're able to use the uh use the main part of your army to get rid of the town hall third inferno tower if it's set to multi and the eagle artillery and along with that using the lightning spells to get rid of inferno towers on the sides that way what you're able to do is control your witches and going through the middle of the base where the majority where you want to really try, try to get your witches to congregate so they can take care of the town hall with ease pretty simple stuff from that point on and then after that you can really just start using your attack so you want to first start by going ahead and using those lightning spells over the inferno towers whether they're set to single or multi like you saw during the live attacks i did use one on a single target inferno but you can still use this pretty easily just making sure that you're able to get rid of a majority of buildings or weaken them up slightly in order to make sure that you're able to get through spacing out your lightning spells is always going to be a really huge help as well so just consider doing that if you are planning on doing so making sure that you're able to get rid of an entire area is exactly what you want that way what you can do is send in a golem and then creating a little bit of a funnel so that then you could send in your ice golem and the other golem that you have in order to push through with the witches you want to make sure that what you're doing with this attack is you're able to power through so like you see here 
using the log launcher directly across, but we want to make sure that we are providing a lot of support for it. Notice how we have the king and the queen. Queen's going to go into the base while the king is going to kind of stay out. There you go. He's going to kind of rat start wrapping right back in with the attack. And here we go. We have got everything moving through into the core. Now we do want the wall or we do want the warden ability on the wall wrecker or on the log launcher so we can get to it unfortunately here we are not able to do just that but we were able to get right over into the town hall compartment with witches on both the left and the right sides being able to kind of clear up some of these buildings and make it easier for everything in the core where we have the use of the king ice golem and the pekka in order to help get rid of the town hall making it far easier so that really kind of, kind of kind of sums up exactly what you're sort of doing with this attack, and it makes it a bit more simple. You can use a jump spell like you see here. Jump is probably the best spell to bring. If you have extra spell spa space, then it's definitely better to use a jump spell. Use something that's a bit more of a mobility that will help your witches, your heroes, your tanks, everything. That way you can actually still get the still get the three star. There's a lot that still needs to be done, though, if you're going to be using witches, but witches are pretty easy. It's a fairly safe bet to say that witches are pretty easy to use. So if you are interested in using witches, then definitely I would recommend them, especially for war. But if you want to use the super witches, definitely let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. I'd really like to make one on that, so feel free to let me know. Other than that, though, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you guys did. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Let me know about what you guys want to see next here on the channel. Make sure you guys follow me over on the social and join my Discord server. With that, I'll be catching you in the next video. Corrupt, signing out.